Hey everybody, my name is Owen and welcome to the video. In this video I want to say that once you learn your lesson that you're going through in life now, it doesn't generally repeat anymore or if it does repeat it's generally sporadic or in the future occasionally and usually it's a higher level um, just to keep you on your tippy toes for your continued growth and expansion. So for example, if you learn, let's say, the lesson of exercising your, let's say, one of your major chakras, your throat chakra, to stand up to a bully, for example, or to someone who's abusive or controlling or manipulative to you, someone who's taking advantage of you, for example, or to learn how to say no and to stand up for yourself and to practice self-love in this empowered way from your three lower, um, lower chakras, your grounded um, physical life, um, safety, um, worldly chakras, physical chakras, once you do this, it might take it may take you a little while to finalize and to learn what you need to learn in this challenge you're going through in this regard. Or it could be anything. It could be in work. It could be in a relationship. It could be in your marriage. It could be with your parents. It could be with your children. These boundary bashing issues and um, abusive issues it could be physical, mental, or emotional abuse. Once you get out of that, you say no. You either stand up to it and end it, or you leave. And that is a very strong lesson in itself to get out of that comfort zone of the habit and to end it. You will find that that lesson will generally be finished in your life now and you can move on to another challenge because that's the way life works. You don't have plain sailing throughout your life. It's We are spirit adventurers coming here to earth. It's a very, very challenging up and down roller coaster. So we are brave souls, so to speak. We want a grand adventure. So. So just want to tell you what to expect. You'll always get new challenges and um, stages in your life. Just like going over a book, there's different chapters. And people will go out of your life and people will come into your life to offer you new types of challenges and new pleasant experiences as well. So we'll always learn from people truly. Um, I, I like to categorize four things when people come into our lives. There's loads, we have loads of spirit contracts. People coming in and out to teach us different things and us to teach them to help bring them onto their next stage of their life. So the four things that is from everybody we learn, we grow. We help each other to heal or at least one, of, one person helps us to heal. So to learn, grow, to heal and to become clearer or to clarify. To learn things, to become clear on things, things that we like, things that we want, and to become clear on understanding, to become clear in our mind, to become clear in our energy, to become clear in our wisdom. So it's relationships and people in our life offer us fantastic opportunity. So um, what you need to get on get out of a problem or challenge is to learn the lesson involved. So if ever you have a challenge or hardship, see what the lesson involved is. Maybe you need to cultivate gratitude, appreciation for what you have. Um, but do not fall into the trap of using gratitude and appreciation to stay in bad bad scenarios. You only use that while you're getting out of bad scenarios. And um, that's the lesson that's another lesson to get out of very unwanted or unpleasant or abusive situations. Things that are like soul destroying, character unnurturing, character hurtful, etc. If ever there's abuse in a relationship, that's time to leave. That's just, that's I'd like to say that's like the soul contract is finished. It served its purpose in many ways. At least, you know, if it's if it's anything more than just like big, like if it's really bad stuff, you know, beyond simple like people. If it's proper abuse, that's time to leave straight away. That's the end of the soul contract. You served its purpose. It's time to leave. So, I want to give you that freedom. And even if it means taking a step backwards or like sleeping on your your friend's sofa, get out of an abusive relationship today. Don't start making excuses for your abuser or your partner. And stop. Um, just stop um, staying in your comfort zone, which is like a nightmare. But people like our comfort zones more. So, um, if there comes a stage when we say enough is enough, and that's when we have to have a breakthrough when we're willing to face our fear and face the uncertainty and face the uncomfortable uncertainty, and to say no, enough is enough, and leave. And that's when the universe and your guides and and the spirit world. That's where the universe will hook you up with synchronistic encounters and new people for you to teach them and them to teach you, as well as a whole lot of fun, happiness and play and nice happy times too. It's not all about like serious hardcore learning and, and misery. So I think life, personally I love life even though it's challenging. I love every single emotion. I appreciate respect 
every emotion and every emotion is there to serve us and it's there to be felt it's there to be acknowledged it serves a purpose it's part of life it's like air water sun and earth you can't give out to one of them Similarly, what the, the most integral thing we need to ask about our emotion or our hardship in life is what is it that I can learn? Once you learn the lesson and you learn what the emotions there to teach you, that's when you make friends with your emotions and all it is is an energy in motion, e emotion, emotion. And all you need to do is accept love, respect and learn from it and be grateful and then it just flows through you. And that's part of the four steps of integration of emotions, of energy, of processing. First of all, you're trying to mentally process and understand an event or a situation or a relationship a challenge, a problem. Second of all, there's the emotional processing. A lot of emotions are coming up and we don't know how to process. Usually we get stuck in the emotional mental processing. But if you learn, if you kind of like resonate with what I'm saying in this video, these two will be helped to be to be understood and um, gone through. The third stage of processing is physical. So mental emotion, third one is physical. That's when we actually have symptoms. When we suffer like cry, shake, aches maybe pain, discomfort, maybe coldness or temp hot. Um, crying is a very is a very huge one to be honest. We need to feel sad. We need to feel okay with feeling bad emotionally to be honest. And make friends. Once we make friends with feeling bad, we don't feel as bad anymore. So you want physical sensations. Okay. So there's three out of the way. The last step of processing is energetical. That's when we've done these three, and that's when the energetical in integration of what we've been processing occurs. We've, we're integrating, we're, we're making peace, we've been learning, we've understood, we're okay with our emotions, and that's when our aura and our energy field, basically speaking, becomes more solid, more stronger, more clearer. We've done, physical, we've done healing on ourselves, we've allowed healing to occur within us. We've integrated a lesson and a challenge if someone was to scan you or get if you get energy healing, they'd say, "Who? This isn't like you know. You've got less stuff, baggage, trauma, pain, hurt, confusion, blockages than you had before. So this is like unblocking and healing. Okay, it's very, very good. So that's the four stages. Okay. Um. So this is how we can heal ourselves, and energy healers can help assist us. You know, there's a million healers, a million ways to heal, and I really encourage whatever you resonate with. So, um, I think that's um, that's everything. And once you integrate, you've learned your lesson. That's when synchronous people will pop into your life. People may leave your life. Yeah, of course, but people will leave, people will pop in. That's when there's new stages occurring. You flip the page of your life, and you now you're ready for something new. And obviously not everyone will live, but relationships will get better. The more you process and heal, everything gets better in your life. Your career, your passion, your clarity of mind, your focus, your creativity, your ability to handle situations. You're never going to just find it dead easy. There's always going to be challenges, but overall it gets easier and a bit lighter and a bit more fun. But don't be expecting amazing fireworks every day. But overall it becomes just that little bit nicer. And uh, yeah. So it's all about learning the lesson and then integrating and then you move on from the old stuff. You don't have to stay in the same cycle over and over again for forever, for years and years and years and years. There's nothing wrong with staying in things for years. We all have our time. But hopefully this video will help make you, allow you to help make you um, have a breakthrough. So anyway, thanks for watching. Lots of love and have a great day. And then... Um, Please do consider sharing the video. I'd be most grateful. It would meet my need to like continue to be of assistance and help humanity, to help the world, to help people, but of course to help the individual. And I'd be very appreciative, as well as if you to leave a like or any comments, but especially sharing would be fantastic, just to help reach more people. And um, if you're interested in spiritual life coaching or my herb shop below, um, I have a higher self herbs herb shop for body, mind, spirit, including enzymes and superfoods. Or if you're interested in any of my two books, um, or to befriend me on Facebook, I'd be most grateful. Thank you. Thanks for your time and care. Bye now.